Welcome back to Kruznik Sanctuary and Final Fantasy XIV Endwalker. Kruznik X here, along with Arya Stormborn, Baron Boop Boop, Howdy, Halabali Espada, Hey, and Ichigo Kuchiki. Hello. So, once again, we're playing Final Fantasy XIV Endwalker, the newest expansion in the Final Fantasy XIV saga. Last episode, we got a nice little lecture from Skalark Montagene on uh, how Ether works, and we've been given full run of the studium, so that should be that should be fun. Once we're back into crafting and gathering. Or I may not utilize it. You never know. Anyways, let's uh, get back to business and get on with a capital idea. Well, that's given me much to mull over. I feel as though we're one step closer to understanding the form's true motives. And the mysteries of life itself, for good measure. It's funny. I came here with the intent of expressing my gratitude only to leave more indebted than before. I have a feeling that his friendship and support will be a great boon to us in the days to come. And on that note, let's head back to the Annex. Perhaps on the way you could better acquaint yourself with Ki Aliapo as the Skarlock suggested, while I share our findings with Rana, Raha. Hmm. <laughs> eh, I'm not gonna worry about crafting and gathering just yet. <clears throat> oh, I think uh, Arisa is on. Oh, he is ahead of us. All right, back to the annex. I gotta say, the music here is just... I, I, I know I'm sounding like a broken record at this point, but god damn. All right, here we are. Ah, welcome back. From what I hear, your trip to the studio proved most educational. While you were away, I received word from our fellow scions. As expected, news of the warding scales was met with such joy. Preparations are now underway to bring the leadership of the Grand Company of Eorzea and the Eastern Alliance together to determine a way forward. Our friends have asked that we bring the scales in our possession to Limsa Laminsa. So the time has come for us to go on the offensive. It's too early to say for certain, but that does seem to be the way the winds are blowing. I, for one, can think of no reason to oppose such a plan, but let us see what awaits us in Vilbrand. Works for me. Let's start by getting the scales out of the storage. Give me a hand, would you, Istinian? He's just like, yeah, sure, fine. He's not going to argue. Phew. I didn't realize these crates were so heavy. Well, no shit, they're filled with dra their dragon scales turned into metal, and you're a Lollafell. Anyway, I shouldn't complain, though. Retra and the alchemists of the great work put their heart and soul into each and every one of these great scales. So you must treat them with the utmost care. No, I figured Are you not coming with us? 
As much as I would like to escape the form's watchful gaze, I have little choice but to stay behind. We're already on thin ice, and if I, in my capacity as our official representative, were found to be consorting with foreign powers, well, you can imagine how that would go. I shall remain here, and do my utmost to avoid ruffling any more feathers as I await word from Master Matoya and our other allies. With luck, we'll soon have good news of our own to share. The tide is about to turn. I can feel it. To Limsa Laminsa! Alright. A free teleport for me. What is oh, what is Firex saying? He said he's, he said he's everywhere. everywhere. He's nowhere. He's nowhere. Yeah. <coughs> Alright, off to the command room. And I... Oh! It tells you how much gil you spent on teleporting. Now. Right below where it says that Atticus and Rose uh, both logged out. And ladies and gentlemen, we finally have the man, the myth, the legend online, Lord Firax. <laughs> Who is currently ahead of us at this point? Uh. Ah, I was told to expect you. As you may or may not be aware, the Admiral is at present entertaining the Elder Seed Seer and the Sultana. Three of the most powerful women in the world in one room. Do you need a moment to prepare, or shall I show you to them? My apologies for calling you away from Charlie and at such short notice. On the contrary, we are honored and grateful, and pleasantly surprised to be joined by such esteemed company. Twas only right that this discussion be conducted in person. We are locked in a war of attrition. Our forces struggle to contain the threat posed by the towers, and it is only a matter of time before we are overwhelmed. Victory will only be claimed through decisive action, and we have taken the initiative to set the wheels in motion. Hmm. It is reassuring to learn we are all in accord. But might I ask what your plan entails? It hinges entirely on the warning scales and our ability to utilize their potential to the fullest. During your time in Charlian, the Allied Nations have been engaged in separate fronts, with no end in sight. To make matters worse, a surge in abductions of Kobold, Sahagin, Iksal, and Ananta have given rise to an increasing number of primals as well. But your triumph in Radzat Han has given us cause to hope once more. The time has come to free ourselves of this menace. And it is you, the Scions of the Seventh Dawn, who have shown us the way. While the bulk of our forces will continue to hold the Tolofroy at bay, we will dispatch our finest to strike at the enemy's heart, Garlemald. These brave few will be the Ilsabad contingent. To think such progress has been made in so short a span. Its objectives are twofold. The first is to provide aid to the people of Garlemald. As previously reported, countless Imperial soldiers and civilians have been tempered. Robbed of their free will, they serve the Tolofroy's every whim without question. They too are victims. It is our duty to deliver them from their suffering, not for strategic or political gain, but because it is the right thing to do. 
I do not ask that we set aside the decades of conflict and conquest. That we simply choose to forgive and forget. I ask only that in choosing to remember, we do not also forsake our compassion and morality. For without that, there can be no reconciliation, only death without end. Aye, on that we can all agree. Our second objective is the colossal tower that Thancred and Urianger observed in the capital. Though its purpose remains unclear, there's reason to believe the smaller spires are merely a precursor of what's yet to come. Until the Tower of Zot was toppled, we'd failed to make any headway. Though the same could be said of the Tolophori. They're certainly in no rush to press further into our lands. I'd wager the spire's primary source purpose primary purpose is to divide and keep us occupied, while they work towards our annihilation. This would appear to be sustained by Yishtola's analysis of the tower's influence on ethereal currents. Based on her observations inside the Tower of Zot, the spires siphon ether from the land, consuming it to maintain their form. However, they draw forth far more than is required for this task alone. The excess of ether remains unaccounted for, but we can be sure it is not being harnessed for our benefit. It wouldn't surprise me in the least if it was being redirected to the larger spire in the capital. There's a logic in that. Regardless, once we have uncovered the truth, we'll bring their schemes crashing down along with their infernal towers. That's all well and good. But what would you have us do? I assume it's more than handing over the scales and being on our way. We want you and your scales to join the Ilsabad contingent. Consider it an official request from both the Grand Company of Eorzea and the Eastern Alliance. Do you accept? Perhaps you should be the one to answer that. For revenge against the Tolophori. <laughs> Couldn't have put it better myself. Yeshola, Thancred, and Urianger have already pledged their support and are on their way to meet the rest of the contingent. They were positive you would come to the same decision as they did. Luckily for all involved, their prediction was correct. Once you have delivered the warding scales to Alamigo, the contingent will embark on its journey to Ilsabad. Ralvan and Lord Emmerich are overseeing preparations, so I suggest you make yourselves known upon arrival. Pack warm clothing, furs and, furs and the like. Without it, the code will do you in before the Telophori so much as draw steel. As for us, we'll keep the enemy busy while you're gone. They're not the only ones who can create a diversion. Now go. Safe in the knowledge Eorzea will be le as you left it, or better, upon your return. Alright, off to the Alamigan Corda. Haven't been here in a while. I hate that place. You hate everything. Uh, most things. Most days. Mostly people. But, no, the Alamegan Quarter feels unfinished to me. Like, correct me if I'm wrong, but I feel like that was a whole city before we came in and, like, took it over. Why is it still not a whole city? Well, let's, ta let's take a look at it this way. When Garlemald took it over, they took over Alamigo before we liberate way before we liberated it they conscripted a lot of soldiers into the Garlean army which was the, which was their kind of MO at the time so a lot of those conscripted soldiers either are dead either are A dead or B you know not uh haven't been returned to Alamigo yet not to mention, okay, not to men not not to mention, I'm still not finished. Ooh, hey. Not to mention 
the the plethora of refu Alamegan refugees who went to Little Alamigo or Thanalan or Old Da, who are now making a who are now making a many of the refugees that went to Little Alamigo decided not to leap to not to leave southern Danlan. So they're still in Little Alamigo. On top of that, the refugees from Ulda, some of them work in the Gold Saucer, while others work helping out the rest of the... helping out Ulda. <coughs> so yeah, there are, there are plenty of answers as to why the Alamegan Quarter still looks unfinished. Not to mention... The Garleans were ransacking this place to begin with, so there's a lot of repairs to be done. All right, fair. There's just a lot of space to cover, and everything's so spread out, and there's, like, nothing in between. Well, maybe in a future update they'll do something about it, but we'll see. Anyway. I, I don't know. It's just, yeah. It's like, let me, let me run around this maze uh, that has absolutely nothing here for no reason. Anyway. Ah, the Wanderers return. You've been busy bringing down a tower and producing the keys to destroying the rest of them. You should be proud. Those warding scales of yours are what's made this whole adventure possible. Hmm. Will, you, will you and Lord Emmerich be leading the contingent? Regrettably, no. Our role is to organize the various delegations into a cohesive unit. Once we have seen you all off, it's back to our respective posts. We dare not neglect our duties for too long, lest our defensive efforts fail and fall into disarray. And just between us, there was a fair amount of opposition to the formation of the Ilsebard contingent. The very suggestion that we send out some of our finest troops behind enemy lines to render aid unto the Gallians has made me rather unpopular in certain quarters. Huh. <laughs> Can't please them all. Sadly not, though I do my best. Truth be told, I'd much rather be at your side, charging into the fray. Alas, I have battles of my own to fight, where words may serve me better than any blade. I hate to say it, but Lord Emmerich's struggles mirror my own. For the time being, the best we can offer you is the peace of mind from knowing Eorzea is in safe hands. As you fight the good fight in Ilsebard, I and the other commanders will do what we can to convince the naysayers that our cause is just. Thank you. Both of you. We meet again. Oh, wrong voice. What has occurred since we parted ways in Worlet? From what I gather, the protective talismans you obtained led to the formation of this expeditionary force. My contribution on this occasion is but a minor one, that being the information I have shared with Maximon. For the sake of the people in Golemald, may the fates be on your side. So you're not coming with us? Strange. I thought you'd have a stake in this. I do. The Tolovari have laid waste to my homeland and enslaved my people. But through every, but though every mote of my being cries for vengeance, I cannot be the one to deliver it. My presence alone would place the entire mission in jeopardy. I stand accused of murdering Emperor Varus and plunging Gollumald into chaos. Were I to travel with the Ilsebod contingent, it would give my countrymen ample cause to question our motives. Conversely, those who believe me innocent may instead celebrate the return of a former legatus and attempt to raise me to a position of leadership, further destabilizing the region and complicating the contingent's mission. Whether, I am, branded, whether I am branded a villain or hailed as a hero, I would only hinder your efforts. We'll deliver your people from harm in your stead. For what it is worth, you have my gratitude. You and your comrades have the strength and courage to deliver my countrymen. I am certain of it. In light of Gaius's rather unique circumstances, I instead will assume the role of your guide. 
Though I may have defected for political reasons, my love for Gollumod endures. I would stop at nothing to protect her and her people. Well said. Might I ask you, might I ask you to escort our friends inside? <laughs> you might even bump into an old acquaintance or two. And if I don't see you again ere you depart, may the Fury guide and protect you. All of you. Man, getting into this is really, uh... Okay, I gotta glam this. I gotta glam this. Glam uh, what? This stupid armor! For right now, I will glam it with a winter coat because I know what we're about to head into. But the second I find an in-room, I am getting out of this bullshit. Or wait, do I have, uh... Oh, there's my glacial coat. Oh, I'm surprised I still have that. <laughs> How long has it been since the glacial coat was released? I can't recall when that was released. It's been a bit. Been a bit, yeah. All right, got to take a quick break, and then we head to Garlemald. If you're watching on Twitch or live from PlayStation, stay tuned. If you're watching on YouTube, here are all the links you need to do whatever it is you want to do. We'll see you in the next episode. <laughs>